Hello friends in this video tutorial, we will learn something new topic in web development. We are going to learn about AngularJS. In this we will show you how can we use AngularJS for insert data into MySQL table and how can we fetch data from MySQL table by using PHP script without page refresh. First we have introduced what is AngularJS. AngularJS is a JavaScript framework and we can add it to HTML page by using script tag. It can extend HTML attributes by using directives and it can be binds data to HTML by using expressions. How to use AngularJS with our application? So for that I have made this video tutorial, in this tutorial we will discuss different directive of AngularJS and how to use this directives with HTML and what is the use of that directive. By using this we will insert data into our MySQL table and we will fetch data from MySQL data and show on web page. In this video how to make function in AngularJS and by using this function how can we call PHP script by this AngularJS function. This all things we will discuss in this video tutorial. Now let's start discussing this topic. This is my database with name testing and in this database there is one table user with three column like it, first name and last name. We want to insert data into this table by using AngularJS with PHP script. Data will be inserted without page refresh event. This is my index.php page. We have used Bootstrap CSS framework for HTML formatting and we have used the Google hosted library CDN link for AngularJS. For using AngularJS on our web page. So for that we have write script tag with attribute source is equal to cd and link for Angular's library which we have get from Google hosted library. Now we have moved to HTML code part, so for that we have write division tag with attribute like ng app directives is equal to my app and ng controller directives is equal to user controller. Here what is ng app directives and what is ng controller directives. ng app directive tells AngularJS that this is the root element of the AngularJS application and ng controllers directives that controls the data of AngularJS application and this is the regular JavaScript objects. In this division tag we have defined text box for first name, so for that we have write input type is equal to text with name attribute is equal to first name and ng model directive is equal to first name. Here ng model directive binds the value of HTML controls to application data. That means if want to access the value of this text box value into AngularJS code and at the time we can access value of this field by using this ng model directive name like first name. Then after we want to define text box for last name, so for that we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to last name and ng model directive is equal to last name. By using this ng model directive name we can access the value of this last name text box into AngularJS code. Lastly we want to create submit button for submit form data. So for that we have write input type is equal to submit with name attribute is equal to button insert and value attribute is equal to add and ng click directive is equal to insert data function. Now ng click directive tells AngularJS what to do when click on this HTML element like a button. That means when we will click on this button then at the time this insert data function will be execute. Here insert data function is a AngularJS function which we will call by the send gclick directive. Now we have moved to write AngularJS code on this index.php. For writing AngularJS code, first we have write open and close script tag. AngularJS code must be writing between this script tag. Here first we have to create Angular module. So for that we have write variable app is equal to angular.module with two argument. In first argument we have write ng app directive name which is my app and in second argument we have write array sign. 
This module will define an application and it is a container for different parts of an application. Then after we have to add controller to this module, so for this we have write module name app.controller with two argument. In first argument we have write ng controller directive name which is user controller and in second argument we have write function with two argument like dollar scope object and dollar http object. This way we can add controller to our angular js code and that refer to the controller with ng controller directive. In AngularJS with the help of this dollar scope object we can access the value of two text box of first name and last name by using this dollar scope object and by dollar http object we can communicate with server by using this dollar http object. Now we want to define insert data function. So for that we have write dollar scope object dot function name insert data is equal to function. This way we can define function in AngularJS with the help of dollar scope object. After this we want to call dot PHP file from this Angular JavaScript code. So for that we have write dollar HTTP object dot post method for send data to the server. In this method first argument is the name of URL where you want to send request. Here we want to send request to the insert.php page and in second argument we have define which data you want to send to the server. Here we want to send first name and last name text box data to the server. So for that we have write first name with dollar scope object dot first name which is the name of ng model directive of text box for first name. Second data is last named with dollar scope object dot last name which is also ng model directive name of text box for last name. This we can set the data which you want to send to the server. After this we have write success callback function. So for that we have write dot success callback function with function with one data argument. If request will succeeds then after this function will be called. This function will receive data from server and store into this data argument. Now we want to show which it received from the server we want to show that data into pop up message. If data will insert it then message will appear on the web page. Now we have moved to write PHP code into insert.php file for insert data into MySQL table. On this page first we have make database connection. For this we have write connect variable is equal to miscly connection function with four argument like host is equal to locale lost, username is equal to root, password is equal to blank and database is equal to testing. This way we can make database connection. Now we want to store the data which we have to receive from index.php file angular.js function. So for this we have write data variable is equal to file get contents function with one argument which is php input stream. We have received data in php input stream format and can be get by file get contents function. This function will get all contents from php input stream and store into this data variable. But in which data we have get from AngularJS function, that are all in JSON format data type, so we want to convert that data to PHP object, so for this we have used JSON decode function, this function will convert JSON strings to associative array. Now we have write of statement with condition like count function with argument which is data variable greater than zero. This condition will check if data variable has more than one array then it will execute if block of code. Now we have write first name variable is equal to miscly real escape string function with two argument. In one argument we have write database connection string which is connect variable and in second argument we have write data with first name. This way we can fetch first name from data variable and by using miscly real escape string we can escape special variable from string for reducing SQL injection attack and store into this first name variable.
This way we have write last name variable is equal to miscly real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write connect variable which database connection string and in second argument we have write data variable with last name. This way we can fetch last name data from data variable and store into last name variable. Now we have write query variable is equal to insert query like insert into user table with two column first name last name values which we have store into first name variable and last name variable. This query will insert data into table. After this we want to execute this query so for this we have write if statement with condition like miscly query function with two argument like database connection string which is connect variable and second argument is SQL query which we have store into query variable. This function will execute insert query, if query successfully executed then it will run if block of code and this block we have write echo statement with text like data inserted this will display to user. But suppose there is some error then it will execute else block of code and in this block we have write echo statement with error message and this will display to user. Now we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends when we have entered Mark in first name text box and John in last name text box and click on add button then at that time data inserted pop up message appear on web page that means data was inserted into table without page refresh. Now we want to check in table is there proper data inserted or not. Friends you can see that data was properly inserted into the user table that means our code is working. Now friends when we have click on button and data was inserted into database but in text box there is still data display in it which we have inserted. Now we want to blank the text box after data was inserted. So for that we have moved to angular js code and go to insert function and in this function we have write dollar scope object dot first name which is name of ng model of first name text box is equal to null. This code will blank the first name text box after data inserted into table, same way we have write dollar scope dot last name which is name of ng model directive of last name text box is equal to null. This will also blank the last name text box after data inserted into my SQL table. Now check the output in browser, so we have saved this code. Friends you can see we have enter value of first name text box and last name text box click on add button then data inserted message appear when we have click on ok button of alert message then after both text box value has been blank that means our code is working for when data inserted into database then after text box must blank. So friends this is my first video tutorial on AngularJS for insert data into my SQL table by using PHP programming code. In this video we have discussed about introduction of AngularJS, how can we use this with HTML element. We have also discussed different directive of AngularJS, what is the use of different directive, how can we create module of Angular and how to add controller into that module and how to create function in AngularJS and how we can call from HTML and most important things how we can communicate with server and do operation at server side and get back result from client side without page refresh. This all things we have discussed in this video tutorial, if you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or you can also share this video on social media also. In next video we will discuss on how to fetch or select data from database and display on web page by using AngularJS. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.